As you may know, last night's episode of Bit on the Side was interrupted due to an incident on set involving our celebrity panel, and the show did not include those scenes. Uh, now, there's been a lot of speculation regarding what happened, and lots of it, believe me, inaccurate, but we just wanted to assure you all that everyone involved is fine, and these events are currently being investigated. But just like last night, we carry on. So it's time for Celebrity Big Brother's Bit on the Side. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side, coming to you from inside the actual Big Brother house for the second time ever. I can't believe they've let us back in, believe me. Uh, the celebrity housemates are poised in the garden behind the shutters. They've got no idea that we're here, so it's quite exciting. But before we get stuck into anything major, I had a quick phone call with Gail earlier. She asked me to do a quick finger test, and I'm hoping this is what she meant. Filthy Gail. Never be like when you were in here. Now listen, I'm not the only squatter making myself comfortable. I've got a very well-behaved bunch of gate crashers over here. Look, here they are. Daddy, we're doing our little claps. We're doing our little claps because we're being quiet. But this isn't any halfway house. I've invited three people who are known for going all the way to grace these well-used sofas. Let's meet tonight's panel. For my first guest, it's been six years since she last set foot inside this house, but she's clicked her ruby stilettos together twice, and now she is back in Oz. And my second guest, well, we've gone from texting to seeing each other, to dating, and tonight I'm going to ask her if she's finally willing to commit. It's my double Michelle's. It's Michelle Heaton and Michelle Visage. Oh, yes, it's late night, and I feel it's right. Oh, yes, it's late night, oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Oh, yes, it's late night, and I feel it's right. Don't fall down, give me a kiss, don't. Third panelist. Um, does anyone know where my third pan? Do you know? Big brother, can you help me out? Have you got any idea where my third panelist is? Eamon, please tell Big Brother who your second nomination is for and your reasons why. Uh, this is a difficult one, Big Brother, but I think I've got to be cruel to be kind. I'd like to nominate Rylan. What? Um, he's. You know, I know him and I get on well here, but he's like my shadow in here, and he's, you know, he's every time I look around, he's there. Well, don't look around, I have to look up, because he's like a big giraffe, and he's always there I'm behind me, and he, he keeps making out that maybe we're closer than we are, and that I'm a surrogate dad, and I'm so not a surrogate dad, and, uh, you know, and, you know, it's not that he's not nice, but he's a bit, you know, nobody else likes him, and I sort of had to befriend him, and. And then when he goes to bed at night and he takes those teeth out and he <laughs> drops them in that glass, he just plonks them in there. I mean, it's oh, the I noise mean. of it. It's just, I, I think mean. he's got to go. So I'd like I to, mean. not like to, but I think I have to nominate Ryman. I mean. Ry Ryland. I mean. the big. I mean. Hello? Get in the house now. Get out of that diary room. Did he hear that? Yes, I heard everything. Get out. Come on. I'm going to go and get him. I'm not having this. Bloody Eamon Holmes. I'm going to have a right row with him. Get out of there now. I was just in the kitchen. Shut up and get on the sofa. Yes. Yeah, good luck to you. Go right, on, you get you. Back. Hello. He doesn't even deserve a little clap. Right, sit down. Sit down. Uh, right, listen. Shut up. There's six very important people I've got to introduce you to before we continue. It is our finalists. Now, listen, they've got no idea what's going on, but they're loitering in the garden with our security guard. Can't be too careful. Uh, <laughs> let's open the shutters. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it in three, two, one. Give it up for your finalists! <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother house, this is Ryland. Can you hear me? Yes, 
<laughs> Listen, guys, I hope you don't mind, but you are on Celebrity Big Brother's bit yeah. on the side. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you guys too much, but we've put on a little spread for you. Nice. nice little spread. Oh, you're enjoying it. Listen, enjoy the show, and I'll speak to you guys in a minute. Give it up for our finalists, guys. Yeah. Now, so you guys at home understand how this works. The housemates are wearing earpieces so we can control what they can and can't hear, Ooh. which is more important. I didn't expect them to be so starstruck when they met me. I'm like, oh, cheers, guys. All right, listen, without much further ado, let's crack on with the show we have just watched. So tonight's show was dominated by the task, hosted by our very own Eamon Holmes. <laughs> and he dished out a couple of own proofs. So, Eamon, what was it like going back in? It was surreal. It was like, um, do you know the Chronicles of Narnia? <laughs> you, you go through the wardrobe door and you're suddenly in this other land, which is Narnia. That's what it was like, because every night at home, watching it in my living room, and then to be there and be with the guys, it was quite eerie and quite emotional. And I thought from, you know, I'd shared in their journey and now I was sitting amongst them. But do you not feel at home here? You've come in before. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not fine. We're gonna have to start charging him squatters rights or something. I think, I think the weird thing is that suddenly you're parachuted in and you feel as if you know the stories, each one of these guys really well. And some of them I do know well. Yeah. But it is, you've seen their, their happiness and their sadness and We've their shared pain everything. And their joy. Yeah. You've shared everything with them. And suddenly I would have found, while you're out here and you may have opinions, it was more difficult to be with them and mm. think the things that you were thinking right, at home. Right. Visage, I've got to come to you yeah. for the purposes of tonight. Visage and Heaton. I can't be doing double Michelle. <laughs> um, Visage, I'm coming to you. What did you make of the Battle of the Nations? About the Battle of the Nations? Mm. That was amazing because it really showed how many people were paying attention to their loyalties, to their countries, and to just each other. Yes. 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 You know? Michelle? Yeah. No, oh, he... did a Michelle. Oh, another Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Heaton. Oh. Um, no, you definitely saw the loyalties and where each other's alliances lied. Um, and I actually think that they've done really well throughout the whole series. Americans have been Americans and the Brits have been Brits. I don't mm. think we've really seen that much of a crossover, actually. Well, one part of that task that got everyone talking was James was revealed to have said, keep your friends close and enemies closer. Uh -huh. And I know who my friends are. And that was in reference to his best friend, Austin. So, Eamon, do you think he's right to go by that motto in here? Look, it is. Quite <laughs> down. At Tell the, the truth, At the David. end of the day, at the end of the day, it is a game. And I think we as viewers sometimes emotionally buy into some of the characters. So why should it be any different in there? I think one or two of the housemates are guilty of emotionally. Oh! No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God, I have no idea what's going on. It's so, it. it's so oh. much harder when they're sat there. I know. I just, and you have out. everything in your head and you're going to slag yeah. them all off, and you can't. <laughs> but it's not, because at the end of the day, though it may be a game, you make real friendships in here. Oh, yeah. So you yeah, yeah, yeah! You don't do that. Well, we've been certainly been pulling that. some punches well, and revealing yeah. the home truths, um, and they all come out of that poll that you guys at home voted on. Um, let's talk about Chloe. She protested, my face was always wet when she was crying. What do we make of the viewer poll? There was not one tear that I ever saw. I'm just going to be honest here. <sighs> somebody could cry and somebody, like, I'm not a teary person, but you would think at one point when the shoulders were going <laughs> that a tear might come. No I, one's looking at your shoulders. Hey, what are you making of the Chloe sitch? Um, I, I, I feel a little bit let down. I kind of feel like I've been watching a pantomime for three weeks. Yeah. And I feel, I kind of feel like someone sat down and scripted their whole events in yeah. here. So as a fan of Big Brother, I'm a little bit disappointed. Well, listen, on that note, give them a little clap. Yeah. And well done for being quiet when you come in. Um, I'm going to be speaking to them a little bit later on. Uh, but, guys, please feel free to use the amenities, you know, anything from the fridge. <laughs> but let me just warn you, be careful of the toilets, because we've all seen Stevie and Chloe in there, haven't we? Look, there they are. And the funny thing is, they can't hear me. They've got no idea what I'm going on about. <laughs> oh, right, luckily the housemates can't hear us at the moment, because I've got a secret to tell you. <laughs> After the break, we have got the finalist family members right here to give them one final pep talk, and I've got a feeling it's going to be getting emotional. So, you do not want to miss it. We'll see you straight after this break. Oh, 
talk about Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side coming to you from inside the Celebrity Big Brother house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him. Yeah. Got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> the funniest part, Sherry, Sherry's face, look at her. No idea what's going on, so help me, please. Uh, now, listen, the housemates are outside, but they can't actually hear us at the moment. That's because just behind the diary room door, their friends and family are there. But I do need them to hear this next bit, so can we please turn the housemates on? Housemates, can you hear me? Yes! yes they are back. Uh, now, listen, before the housemates went in, we got them to ask themselves a series of questions, looking ahead at their time in the Big Brother house. Oh, no. 28 days later, we know most of the answers, but it's time to see if you lot delivered on your promises. Let's take a look. I pledge, and on heart, that this year's Celebrity Big Brother will be the best in history. I promise to always be dignified and respectable. I beat you! I pledge to never react with tears or tantrums. Because I don't want all the three weeks that I've been here just okay. to be invalidated Come by this. Come here. Blown up. Come on. We, we promise, promise to make, make our, our country, country proud. proud. Oh my god. Babe, really? I pledge to be entertaining. He thought that I was the best model because I am the best supermodel in the world. I'm a oh, 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 the queen. Queen. Majesty. I promise I will not lose my head in times of trouble. You don't have to shout! Why are you shouting at me? I pledge to every takes to help and make the UK the winner. My first nomination is Austin. As much as I love him, he's wrong. If anyone backstabs me, I will drown the dirty bastards. I promise to be honest and open to all my fellow housemates. You are possibly one of the ugliest people I have ever had to have the misfortune of sharing my time with. I promise to take responsibility for my actions. Oh, no, so please. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is in shock. I pledge to bring joy, fun and laughter to the house. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> What the fuck? I pledge to be the best housemate I could be. If they don't like that, they go fuck themselves. <laughs> the look on their faces is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> okay, housemates. Awesome. Listen up, awesome. can you hear me? We can. Yeah. Yeah. I must remind you that you need to stay in your designated area. Oh, oh God. I have a very special surprise for you all. You've been locked off from the outside world and your nearest and dearest for almost four weeks. I have six people who are very proud of you and want to give you some advice before tomorrow's finale. I don't think there's going to be a dry eye in that garden oh tonight. God. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Housemates, it's time to welcome your family members. Oh give it up for Bobby's daughter, Tiani. Austin's husband, Jake. James's brother George, Natasha's partner Richie, and Sherry's daughter Keely. <laughs> Guys, um, welcome to the house. Um, unfortunately, housemates, it's time to turn you off. That didn't go down well. <laughs> right, it's time to have a little natter. Jake. How does it feel to be in here and be so close to him? It's weird, like, I miss him so much. I see him all the time and he's right there. It's, uh, it's crazy, but um, it's nice. You're all right. Mm -hmm. oh. He's all right. <laughs> Tierney, how do you feel that your dad's over there? It's crazy. I miss him so much, but it's another day. It's fine. I can wait. She's on my right. Sarah, we've spoke on the show many a time. Yeah, you've we you've gone through some hell. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are the family and everyone at home with the whole Stevie and Chloe situation? No, they, they think they're doing amazing. We all do. We all love them. Um, I really want to go out there and give them both a hug, you know. I think um, Chloe's been particularly strong in the house. Brilliant. I think she's doing amazing. And Steve, the comical side coming out. Oh, we've know. all seen that man, Keeney. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, George, how do you think your brother's done? Really well. I'm really proud of him. Is um, everyone proud of him at home? Very proud of him, yeah. And how's, his, how's your granddad? We've got to ask, because he really loves your granddad. He's missing him, yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh. Um, Rich, you've been on bots. I have indeed. <laughs> I feel like I speak to him every day. <laughs> um, how has it been watching at home, watching Tash 
in here? It's been honestly like a roller coaster. I'd love to say, yeah, it's been great, but actually, it hasn't always been great. It's been <laughs> quite tense. It's been intense, and um, yeah, so I'm just looking forward to tomorrow now. Well, See Keely, you. I've got to come to you. Your mum has got into this house, and I know everyone was a bit worried. Yeah. Do you think she's going to return from the house the same woman, or has she changed? Oh, yeah, no, she's not changed at all. She's still the most loving, caring woman that everybody knows that she is, and she'll be exactly the same when she comes out. I just can't wait for tomorrow. Exactly the oh. same. Sherry oh. Houston, right there. <laughs> all right, now's the time. Let's turn on our housemates. Housemates, can you hear me? Here we go. Are you kidding? Georgie boy. Guys, this is your chance to give your loved ones a little pep talk for <laughs> finale tomorrow. So, Jake, we are going to start with you. I need you to look down the lens. You have 10 seconds to give your message to Austin. Your time starts in three, two, one. Austin, I love you so much. You've done brilliantly. I'm so glad that you're the last American in there. I love you so much. I'm here for you on the other side. Just give it your best shot. <laughs> well done, Jake. <laughs> Danny, coming to you. You know what to do. Straight down the lens in three, two, oh my God. one. Hi, Daddy. You've done oh, so, so well. We're so proud of you. Just enjoy yourself and have fun. I can't wait to see you. Oh, oh, well done, well darling. Sarah, it's over to you for your message to Stevie and Chloe Jasmine. Your time starts now. Hi, Stevie and Chloe. We love you all so much. We're so proud of you. Keep doing the comic. Com comical things in there, you know, the fun factor stuff. Chloe, you've been so strong in there. Keep being strong. Sorry, your time's up. Aww. Well done, Sarah. George, it's time to talk to your brother. Your time starts in three, two, one. James, you do what you're doing, mate. Uh, we all love you. We all miss you. We're all very, very proud of you. Uh, can't wait to see you again. And love you. Well done, George. Time's up. Richie. You know what to do. Your time starts in three, two, one. Baby, you've done exactly what you said you were going to do and be yourself, keep it up. Never thought it was this possible <laughs> to love anyone as much as I love you. Aww. I can't wait to see it. Time's up, Rich. But well, I need to start then. Um, Keely, finally to you. This is your chance to give a message to your mum. Your 10 seconds starts in three, two, one. Hi, Mum. We are so, so proud of you. You know that. We love you so much. I can't wait to see you. So we can party when you come out. <laughs> um, go, Nana Sherry. There you go. Time's up. Uh, guys, thank you so, so much. And to avoid any more communication with our housemates, unfortunately, it's time for you now to leave the Celebrity Big Brother house. Please give it up for our family, guys. Thank you. Off you go. Get out. Get out. Off they go. With Malone. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> right, there they go. That is it. And as if things weren't emotional enough, it's time for the last box of the news of the series. Don't, don't know if I to say it, but normally this is where you get some special one-on-one -on -one time with me, but there's someone who just can't handle seeing me shine. So tonight, you're getting two anchors for the price of one. Eamon, get ready, because it's time for the last Boss News! Yeah! Oh, there we go. Take it away. Well, we start with breaking news and a story that broke early this morning. We've just received word that at 10.13 today, Bobby found that there was definitely more than one head you can place your hat on. <laughs> Let's take that camera away from my huge erection. <laughs> you want to use this up, Bobby? What is it? You used to put it on. Yes. Yeah, I'll take it over. I've got a stiffy as well. Oh my god, you actually have. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my no, he has! I'm going in the toilet. <laughs> no way! Oh my god. <laughs> You're not the only. <laughs> You are actually got a stiffy in your <laughs> 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 Oh down, my go god, <laughs> he's got a stiffy. Oh, he's gone now. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but too much detail maybe, but uh, they have been in there uh, for four weeks, Ryan. It's very much expected. Thank you, Eamon. Uh, there is definitely something in the air as well. The housemates enjoyed a hearty finalist breakfast. Clovey were doing their best to 
Make them bring it all up again, basically. Mm. What? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Love you. I love you too. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, that's when they stand behind you go, I've got the Roger Moore on the James Bobby Gabriel. Hello, Hazel. Hey, what are you doing? Mm. Are you violating me? I'm feeling my gorgeous, sexy bride to be. <laughs> Seeing what, what I'm getting from a, from a fucking wedding. Hey, I like what I'm getting already. Come on, Nessie, we're putting you on a diet plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanna... oh, babe, I just can't control myself. What do you want, darling? I want you. Compelling doing that, Amy. Compelling. Yes. Compelling. Just like watching me and Ruth on this morning, oh. uh, the passion didn't stop in the kitchen as the amorous couple continued their passionate encounter in the bathroom. Beautiful. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, look, Santa You all right? Mm. Sexy. You are. Ah. Oh. 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 OK, um, and with the final day looming, it's time to clear up once and for all. Who is the phantom pisser? <laughs> but which man wheezes on the toilet seat and doesn't admit to it? That ain't that him. It's one That's of them. On my life, Those right, two. it's not me, because I'll tell you why. Be sprinkle, if you sprinkle when you tingle, be sweet and wipe the seat. Thank it you very much. So it's Bobby. I think it's Bobby, to be fair. It was never me. I have a wee, and, and never... I make a point of wiping the well, seat when we was with on a the tissue. When he's not admitting it. When we was on the game outside, yes. Bobby went before me, and there was wee on the seat. It wasn't wee. The phantom pisser. Well, I tell you, sometimes it's the water from the sink when I wash my hands after every wee anyway, yeah, goes onto the seat. Just try that. I'm going to give you a love bite with the hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Get down here if you want. Mind <laughs> you, yeah, I'm in there. I have to say, Bob. Give me a little pat down here. It's all toilet talk in there. It's disgusting in my eyes. Eamon, what do you make of the talk? I, I, I don't like lavatorial talk, really. It is, as you say. <laughs> It's disgusting. It's disgusting. disgusting. And Eamon, let me thank you until next Not time from me and my news hound partner, Eamon Holmes. Good night. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Still to come, it's time to psych yourselves up because our American psycho, Dr. Pam, will be here to battle it out with our British favourites, Bob and Dame Judy, in a very special edition of Psych on the Sofa. It's psych in the house. Don't go changing. See you after this. That's off me. That's off me. On the side, coming at you from inside the celebrity big brother house. And look, there's the house, yeah. mate. Look, there they are. Oh. All right, we have still got plenty to come. My panel of pleasure givers are going to be revealing who they think the winner should be. And the housemates themselves will be pleading for your votes. They don't even know that yet. But first, it's the eve of the finale, and we have got the rosemary and thyme of the mind here. <laughs> To dissect the housemates for the final time, it is time for... Oh! Oh, look at this! Please give it up for Dame Judy Jones and Bob Smith! Yes! Oh, girls. I mean, I've got to start by saying this. So, me and you have been in before. She's a virgin, though. Well, I, I wouldn't go that far. But, Pam, <laughs> I've heard you are a bit of a house virgin. Yeah. I am, and you know what? I'm just so overwhelmed with emotion, and I'm going to do, like, Chloe, Jasmine, and, and, and just not have any tears come oh, out. Oh, here she goes. She's <laughs> already started. After all the backhanders over 11 years, I've given your producers, I know, and I, I even scaled I the wall one night in your series. They didn't press charges, no, but I thought arrested. they would let yeah. me in. Yeah, yeah, we all remember. Same. We all remember. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, listen, let's talk about the US versus UK theme this series. So, let me come to both of you. What 
what dynamic change has that had on the whole house? I, what I've loved is we've seen a new evolution in reality TV and I think I love the way that we're seeing people now from uh, the US that are actually, their only talent is reality yes. and they're like Sherman tanks with chips on their shoulders, you know, they're, they're absolutely like machines going mm. through the house. I, I love it. I think, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to go now. Well, do you think that's the way it's going to go? But do you think that it's encouraged friendships or do you think it's really provoked a division? Well, let me break it down. Oh, she's got her hand out. She's got her hand out, guys. The World yeah. Wars? We had, we had a strong alliance after the World Wars. There's no more special relationship here. <laughs> and yes, of course, we did have the turncoat and one friendship with, with Austin and James. Yeah. But I've got to say, we've had IPA, that's incompatible personalities effect, where this time we've had so many incompatible personalities. What do they do? They get in argument cycles. So, of course, we had Farah arguing with James. We had yeah. Farah arguing with Natasha. Then, of course, most of all, Austin and Janice. Yeah. And with incompatible personalities and they can't escape, it's, I'm sorry, let's get angry again. I'm sorry, there's nothing that they mean when, when they've apologised to each other. They have not meant it. Well, we've give, we've give both of you uh, a few categories to look at and pick the housemates who've shown the most of these qualities from each nation. So let's start with the biggest game player, Pam. <laughs> Who do you think is the biggest game player on Team USA? OK, I'm going to keep it real. It's Janice. The Janice! Reason why, because Janice is a quirky person, oh, she but she has exaggerated her quirks. And you know what? She's like a diamond. And a diamond has many facets or faces. Oh. And it's confused people. Is she really the yoga solitary lady? Is she the nurturing mother to Chloe? Is she the drama queen? Is she the camera crazy lady? That's why people find her quite fake. They cannot believe all the facets that she displays that to people. And and yeah, half of it is put on and half so of it's So you think Janice for USA? Absolutely. What about the Brits? Uh, Stevie and Chloe playing to cameras, but James has been a forensic game player in there. Um, he's actually not been intimidated by the Americans. <laughs> it, 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 in, but in a really good way. He's, he's, he was the only one that really took the Americans, saw them toe-to-toe, -to -toe and, and beat them at their own game. And it is a game anyway. Why, he, why should he not have done it? I well, mean, let's, uh, let's move on then to the best leader, because that, that leads me on quite nicely. Who do you think's been the best leader in the house, both oh, of you? it's got to be Scoop. And let me tell you, oh, Scoop, Scoop! Scoop definitely... Scoop. He was there to relate, <laughs> and he wasn't there to dominate. And I can hear Scoop starting a new chant. Scoop loves to relate. He doesn't dominate. Oh, we're so sorry, she's writing my lyrics! He doesn't dominate. Well, listen, I've got to stop you, Pam, because what I've, I asked these two to pick their most inspiring moments from the series. So, Pam, should we have a look at your? Yes. Let's take a look. Da, 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 da. Ooh! Oh, my God. Oh, please. Very nice. Pam, favourite of that? In the House of Pain, that showed they could actually just let go and have fun for a change. Thank we the Lord, that's all we wanted was a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, should we have a little look at your... Yes, Come on, let's have a look. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't have to, like, laugh at me. It hurt my feelings. That's not fucking cool. It's OK. Because oh, we're, nice. we're tougher than this shit. Okay. We're tougher than this okay. shit. Thank you very much, big brother. Tyler and Jenna, welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back, girls. Come Thank on. you. We've so missed you. We really you. have. Right, cup of tea, anyone? Oh, she loves Do I even need to ask you one? It was just that last minute. And then yeah. you get this huge fight. This, for me, absolutely epitomises what's happened in there this time. You get this huge battle going on, and in the middle of it, like Mrs Overall, she comes yeah. in and goes, do you want a cup of tea? And I just <laughs> love that, because it was so British, it made me feel patriotic. Well, do you know what I've loved? I've loved you, and I've loved you, so please give it up for Dr Pam and Judy Jones! <laughs> I said I couldn't do a show from the actual house without letting the next lady loose in here. So she's become part of the Big Brother furniture and she definitely gives me the wood here to tell us exactly what she thinks of each of our finalists. It's What the Hell Live with M -M 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 Michelle Vassar! Yes. Is this camera even on? How do you turn this thing on? Is it on? What the hell, guys? Let's do it. We're gonna start with 
Bobby Davro, okay? Ooh. National treasure, nice guy, first prime minister of the BB house, and king of impressions, which was abundantly obvious by all of those impressions. <laughs> we saw him do, but you did, Bobby, do one of the best things that we've ever seen. The face-to-face -face nomination to end all face-to-face -face nominations yeah. ever on CBB. Now we're gonna talk about Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, though I believe nary a word that comes out of their mouths. I, but, but I do believe that there isn't a bad bone in their bodies at all. Sure. Their PDA made the better part of Great Britain cringe, especially when Stevie was trying to milk Chloe in the store. Yeah. Yeah. However, they're both filled with joy and that always made me smile and that's the truth. Yeah. Sherry, 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 Sherry. Here she is, the gorgeous Sherry. In my mind, she is the legend in the house. But, yeah. but, where was she this season? Yeah. I actually think she was in Benidorm, rather here in Boring. <laughs> but, no tea, no shade, but she made up for all of that in three seconds flat. How do you ask? Oh. Thank you. She took a bath after she may or may not have had a drink or two in a silk gown yes. yeah. in bubbles yeah. in full makeup. Going in, I thought, God forbid someone crosses a Liverpool lass on a bad day. But from day one, when Farah attacked Natasha, they locked horns and she held herself with the utmost class yeah. and dignity. She speaks her mind when it needs to be spoken. I have so much respect for the way that she's handled herself in every situation in this house. My only wish is that we get to see more of Natasha in this series. Yeah. And those fabulous glasses! Oh, Love those glasses! Austin, Austin! Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been defending Austin throughout this whole series, and I continue to say that Austin has not played a game in this house in any way. To me, to me, Austin has stayed true to who he is and what he believes in, and he's fiercely loyal. I also think he had every right to be hurt by James when he told him that he didn't know him, and then he stuck the knife in, and he dug it deeper by then nominating him. That, my friends, is dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Dirty. But, I also feel that Austin needs just to think a little bit before he screams and name calls and shames people on national TV. Not a good look, Austin, darling, but that can be worked on. And finally, James. James was literally my favorite to look at, to win, to look at, to listen to. And then it happened. What none of us, especially me, saw coming. James, you threw your best mate under a moving freight train. You tried to talk to him a few times, yes. A lot of the shit that came out of Austin's mouth was horrible, but you never, ever turn on your friend in a time of need. You... James, by far, has played this game strategically, and it may just win him the crown, but at what price? Da da da. Oh, yeah. And that is your final Wild Howard the Show. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Michelle Massage. I love her. And it's time for a quick break now, but stay with us because tonight's panel are going to be discussing who they want to win. Plus, our finalists will be giving their reasons why you should crown them the celebrity Big Brother champ. And I wish I could say I don't know how that feels, but I do. I'm a winner. Oh, my God. Uh, don't go changing. I'll see you straight after this break. Whoa! Oh, oh. Coming to you straight from the Big Brother house itself. Don't mind us. Um, I don't have sugar. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you put sugar in your... Oh, Just take it away. Uh, listen, we have lovingly chucked the housemates out of their house, but don't worry, they can see everything from the garden. There they are. <laughs> Give a wave. Look at them. Having a lovely time. We're going to be hearing what, why they think you should vote for them in a minute. But first, my panel of provocateurs, shall I say, <laughs> have still got plenty to say. So, we've moved to the kitchen table for this bit, so the housemates definitely can't hear us because we're going to discuss who the panel want to win. And can I just point out, we've been in here for over 30 minutes and there's not been one argument in that garden. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a Brucie! <laughs> uh, it is fair to say, though, that the housemates have definitely lived up to expectations. We've seen Jarrah, a sexually frustrated couple, Darling Shush, Celery Gate, Man Tubs, Flip Flop Gate and the secret room twist that was completely flip reversed it. Uh, but now, with the final looming, it's time to turn our attention to who should win. We have got just over 30 seconds, loads of time, to talk about each house, mate. When the time's up, we'll hear this sound and we will move on. So let's go. Let's start with James. Start the clock. Eamon, James. Uh, nice lad, good player. By and large, what's the not to like, except a bit flirty gurdy from number 30 with Austin. <laughs> And I think Austin fell for it um, with them. But still, for me, maybe by a nose, my favourite to Oh, no favourite there, Vizage. Just by a nose, just by a nose. Uh, hard for me to forgive somebody who throws a best friend mm. under a bus. He has been my favourite from the beginning. That changed everything for me. It's just plain dirty. It doesn't sit right in my heart. Peyton? I really like James. He was my winner for me all through it. But I think that it's going to be very close between him and Natasha. You think it's going to be close between him and Natasha? Yes. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Well, let's talk about her. She's our atomic bombshell. Peyton, go for it. Um, Natasha, I know her very well, and she's been exactly the same person that she's been all of her life. She's been true to herself, very feisty when she needs to be, sticks up for herself. Did hold my breath a little bit right at the beginning of the no. show. Hold oh, oh, back, but um, she's just been amazing. Bizarre. Yeah. Straight away, I loved her right out the box, right to now. But the only thing is, I fear that she hasn't been seen enough. When she has been seen, it was big and it was confrontational, and mm. she set her point and she stayed classy, but we didn't see her enough. So I fear a little bit, but I love Natasha. Eamon Holmes. I agree with my fellow housemates um, tonight on all those points. I think you cut her in half. I think she is uh, British. Uh, Shut up! Right, oh. British rock. British let's rock. move on to our loose women herself, Miss Sherry Hewson. Eamon, let's start the clock. Sherry, what's it not to like about Sherry either? National treasure, wonderful, wonderful, lovely woman. If sweet is enough to do it for you, she will win. But I think, as Michelle said earlier, where has she been? Ben Adorm. That's just maybe slightly would go against her, but lovely woman. Design. Amazing. I mean, I was obsessed with her from Ben Adorm. Joyce Temple Savage. Right. Savage. Hello. Love. Thank you. Welcome to the Welcome. Okay. With that said, um, I was waiting, 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 and it really wasn't until the last week when she jumped into the bubble bath with the silk gown and the makeup. <laughs> Amazing. Moment. Right. And playing Janice Dickinson. That's what do you find? Uh, mm. Unbelievable. Hey, but um, not enough. Yeah. Lovely woman. Sorry. All uh, right. Let's move on to two hours space for the price of one. Clovey! Uh, let's start the clock. Hey, and go for it. Um, I feel like I've been played a little bit, and it's a bit like watching a pantomime pre-ordained um, show. I'm not quite sure about it, but like Michelle said, I do completely agree. They don't seem to have any bad bone in their body. I think they seem to be very nice people, but I just wish they were individual housemates. Besides. I do too. I feel like Chloe's just a bit too needy, and if I were Stevie, I'd be running for the hills. And I understand. So for me, at that point, it doesn't seem like a winner to me. Are they sweet? Yes, they are as sweet as pie, but... Mm -hmm. It's not a um, I'd like to think I'm more of a romantic than my two colleagues here, but, um... Oh, I, I oh you got out of that one! Uh, let's move on to Bobby. Eamon, go for it. Bobby, lovely man. Uh, I think he's been very good. He's been very entertaining in here. I think whether he wins or not, he will be a winner. He will do very, very well as a result of all of this. I think Bobby's been fun to watch. You know, his advice to Chloe Jasmine was the best thing I heard him say yeah, oh. about Janice. It was the best thing yes, I heard him say. Yes, it was good yeah. advice. But it was at the end of the show. Thanks, but did Bobby. it surprise you coming from Bobby? It, it came out of nowhere. I was like, oh, he talks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, um, his turning point was when he delivered his nomination to Farah, and that, yeah. for me, won it as well. But do you yeah. think that moment enough is enough for him to win the show? Could uh, be. Uh, maybe, mm. maybe. I think it's a very strong moment of the show. They've got good timing as well. Uh, let's finally move on to Austin, Eamon. Austin, a tour de force, a tour de force. Now, um, because he exploded, and we realise why he's exploded, the thing is, forgiveness is in the hands of the British public. If they choose to forgive, he's a winner. If they don't, Besides. Last American standing, got to stand behind him. I stood behind him mm. the whole way. Did he say too much? Was it deplorable? Absolutely disgusting. But forgiveness is key to life. Mm. Are you surprised he's the last American standing? No, I'm not. No, she's not. No, she's not. Hey, um. I love Austin. I love him. I want to give him a really big cuddle and just take him home and make him a cup of tea. Anything else? Yeah. No, obviously not. Just a cup of tea. <laughs> just to confirm. Uh, right, very quickly down the panel. Last question. Who do you want to win? Amen. Oh, God. Who do I want? Oh, Ooh, do you know why? Very quick. 
James. Visage. How can I not say Austin? He's the last American standing. Hey, um. Who do I want to win, Austin or Natasha? But I think James might hit. Guys, give it up for our panel. What a chat. <laughs> Lovely. All uh, right, listen, come with me. Because it's time to give our housemates one final chance to convince you to make them your celebrity Big Brother champ. So, let's talk to the housemates. Housemates, can you hear me? Yes. This is your chance to explain to the public why they should vote for you. One at a time, come forward to the podium, as you can see here, and look directly down this camera. You each have 10 seconds to speak directly to the public. We'll go in alphabetical order. So, Austin, you are first. Please make your way to the podium. I just need to remind our audience, you need to remain silent. So, Austin, your time to talk to the public starts now. I think it goes without saying that I've proven myself to love the British people, even though I'm a Yank. Uh, I love the UK and Rue Britannia. I, it's been a great experience, whether I win or lose. Thank you, Austin. Bobby, make your way to the podium. Bobby, your time to talk to the public starts now. Citizens of Great Britain, it, I'm extremely proud to represent this great country of ours in this wonderful show. Please, please, please vote for me. I've done my very best. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you, Bobby. Chloe and Stevie, it's your turn. Okay, I'm broken. You, you can't, just, can't you hear anything? I'll just put one of this in it. Oh, Come on, guys. <laughs> she can't hear anything. Don't worry about it. Okay. As long as you can hear me. I can hear you. Good right. luck okay, to you. Yeah, thank you. Babe, you start. Stevie and Chloe, your time to talk to the public starts now. Great Britain, we've dared to be true to ourselves. We've never been celebrities, but please, we need your votes. We love you lots. We love you. Much love. Take care. Love you. Thank you, guys. Take your seats. James, you're up. <laughs> All right, geezer. All right. <laughs> James, your time to talk to the public starts now. I've had an amazing time. Really grateful to be here. Please vote for me. I love you all. And pick up that phone. <laughs> your time's up. <laughs> Man, a few words. Short and sweet. <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> Sherry, sit down. <laughs> Natasha, you're calm next. Make down, your way. Calm down. Tish tash. <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> your time to talk to the public starts now. All I can say is I've had an absolute ball. Thank you for keeping me in up to now, but please pick up the phone and vote for me. I've been honest, I've been true, and I've had a great time. Thank you, Natasha. <laughs> Come and eat a beaver. Sherry, make your way to the podium. <laughs> Come on, Nana. <laughs> Sherry, your time to talk to the public starts now. I've had a wonderful time. I can't experience anything like it in my life. And where would a Nana get to beat a buff boy's bottom? <laughs> Please vote for me because I can't believe it! Thank you, guys. Get up your housemates. <laughs> there you go. Housemates have told you their reasons why you should vote for them. But you know what you need to do. There's the all-important numbers that you need. This week, Austin, Bobby, James, Natasha, Sherry and Stevie and Chloe Jasmine all face the public vote. Who wins, you decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Austin, add 01. For Bobby, add 02. For James, add 07. For Natasha, add 10. For Sherry, add 12. For Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, add 13. Calls to the long number will cost 50 pence plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in Thursday's live final. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Well, there you go. All that is left to say is good luck, housemates, and we'll see you tomorrow. There they go. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my panel and our audience. Thank you, guys. Uh, I should probably thank them lot out there in the garden as well. Tomorrow night at 9 p.m. on Channel 5 and then to the final box of the series. And believe me, we're going to be having a bit of fun, including a gossip with our brand new winner. Until then, night-night.